Christmas, Colette got me a computer chair, the Bathurst 500, and I did a video of putting that together, and I was really happy with it when I first got it. But within the first two weeks of having it, it actually got a tear across the seam. It sort of came apart in the seam, but it wasn't the stitching, it was the material was just tearing, and it just kept getting worse. Even though I was very appreciative for the Christmas present, it was a lovely idea and I needed a chair badly. It just turned out that the product itself, the Bathurst 500 computer chair, was not up to par. So I don't like to do bad reviews, I'd much rather give positive feedback. Um, but they didn't go out of their way to make things any better for me. Um, I'm out of pocket for the delivery fee. I had to make an extra trip down there myself just to get the replacement and the manager I dealt with was very lacklustre to say the least. Um, one of the staff members though, Caitlin, she was lovely. She actually helped us out a fair bit but there was only a certain amount she could do being a staff member. So I just won't deal with that company again. Instead of replacing it with the same computer chair, I got a different one. It looks a little bit stronger and built a little bit better even though it didn't cost as much I think it's probably made a bit better so I'm going to open that now and we'll have a look at it this one comes with a three-year warranty and it is the Oslo Highback Chair Otto stylish design with thick padded seat chrome armrest and base Ooh, shiny chrome there's one of the arms They call it a high back model, the Oslo high back chair, but it's not really a high back, not compared to. Um, the one that we just had and a lot of the gaming chairs are much higher but they call it a high back chair that's the back okay I've got my helper with me again for this big job Fisher bum ba da bum super chair man and this is the base all about the base, about the base How about that? Ooh. You got the wheels done already, mate. Mm -hmm. I do like the look of the chrome better than the plastic. At least they're nice on this carpet. Yeah. There's the strut. Same as last. The strut just sits in there. Side fish. Got to find the holes they go in and just thread them in. No, super tight, super tight. That's that mechanism bolted to the base of the chair. Now for the back to get secured. The chair back. As you can see, Grant's working hard putting the new chair together. He's not talking to us at the moment. I'm sweating just from doing up bolts. <laughs> Okay, that's the back done. All we've got left for screws here now is the armrest. Oh. Hello kitty. You come to help? Hey? You gonna help us? Here you go. Oh. Yeah, pull it back out here like that. Just keep it there. And 
we go. One more arm to do. One more arm to do. One more arm to do. just have to turn it over and set it on that centre pipe. And I am sweating guys because it's the middle of summer here in Australia and we've been having uh, very hot days. It's not far from getting dark, it'll be dark in about half an hour and it's still 90 degrees Fahrenheit and 45% humidity. So that's why I'm sweating putting this chair together. Look at it. Right about now, I wouldn't mind a bit of the snow over in the USA. Okay, nearly finished. We'll turn it over. Should just pop straight in there. You want to guide it on, fish? <laughs> no, that's it. Is that it? Yep. That's the tallest it can go. Hopefully this one lasts a lot better. The other one started coming apart after two weeks. So we went for a different brand and a different sort. This is more like the old style and it's got chrome and steel in it instead of plastic in a lot of places. The Oslo Highback, made by Otto. went together well and it feels nice and it looks a lot stronger. Thanks very much for joining us while we put together this one and I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks very much. Remember, take time for the simple joys.